Female family members, friends or neighbours who've made a difference by sacrificing their time, money or energy for their communities. It's ahead of the Extraordinary Lady Speaks conference in Croydon and it's all about recognising normal everyday women who are stars in their own right. Well, here to explain more is organiser Sandra Nelson and one of the nominees, Kieran M. Singh. Thank you so much for joining us um, today. Okay, so, so Sandra, look, t tell us a little bit more about this. What was the idea behind it all? The idea started with a simple idea to actually give back to those women that are actually making a difference. Mm -hmm. And when I think about Star Awards, it's much more than an award. It tells the story of a woman, of those ladies out there that have actually sacrificed their time, their energy, their resources to, to make this world better. Mm -hmm. You know, when I think about Star Award, I think about my mom who gave up so much, sacrificed so much to give us that education that she never had. She had to give up to ensure that we went to school. And she didn't get her education until after we've graduated. And she um, retired last year as an assistant head teacher. Mm -hmm. So we are looking for those ladies. They are out there. They've done so much. You know, they've actually awakened the, the potentials within people. And what are the potentials? When you look at the star, star S star, star, stands for sacrifice mm -hmm. and selfless service to our community. And T, taking out time to change and transform lives. A stands for acknowledging and awakening the potentials within people, which potentials could mean the dreams, the visions, the passion, you know, that lies within people. And they've taken their time to ensure that these potentials don't, don't die. And then R stands for resilience and respect for one another. So you know those ladies. We want them to be nominated. We want them to be recognized and be presented with this Star Award on the 16th of May, 2015. So it's all about the, the unsung heroes, the unsung um, the women and what they do. And Kieran, you're one of the women. You're one of the women that's been nominated. Um, how, how did that happen? I don't know. I just got an email from Sandra <laughs> that I've been nominated. And it's, it's an absolutely amazing feeling. Well, okay, so what, what, is, what, is, what is the work that you're doing? Um, I do a few things. I run um, a support group for single parents. Right. I'm a single mum myself. So I run a support group. I empower them. I'm a life coach. So right. I help them get back on track wow. and design the life to desire, basically. I mean, that is incredible support because there are, there are many parents, women and men, but women can find themselves um, being a single parent. And that is it's very tricky. I've been brought up in a single parent family. It's, it's, it, I don't think there's anything really, really tougher. No, it's very tough. Uh, I'm from Norway, so I moved to London seven years ago. So I had to start my life from scratch with mm -hmm. nothing. And where I'm not, I am now, it's been all due to my hard work. But also, when you work hard, you're teaching your children the same thing. Mm -hmm. It's role modeling. And I think that's what I want. I want to help all single mums out there mm -hmm. and show them that you can have a, a life you love. And you don't know who nominated you? No, I don't. <laughs> but this is, you're, not, you're used to this. This isn't the first time you've been nominated for an award. No, I won two awards last year. I won the Inspiration Award and I won the Asian Professional Awards last year. Wow. Plus I won four website awards. So, yes. Wow. And so she will find out, she'll find out in May whether, whether indeed she, she got this, this star award, as you call it. She will find out in May. Nominations are now open. She will find out in May. And the ethos behind the Star Award is also we understand that the greatest legacy you can leave behind is that of sea watership mm -hmm. to actually leave this world better than you met it. And the, um, the greatest dream and passion you can ever do is that which involves helping someone else to stand without such. There's no true dreams and there's no true vision. It's all about helping people to stand while you're still standing. So that's the ethos behind. I mean, it's 2015. You know, why are awards like this recognizing women? Why are they still important now? It's it's very important because every single person would appreciate an acknowledgement, a reward, a thank you, just to let them know you're doing a good job. You, you, you're not forgotten. I mean, even you, you would like an acknowledgement if your boss says, well done, Claudia, you're doing a fantastic job. And I believe that um, Kyrian will be in a better position. How did you feel when you received the, the nomination letter? It, How did you it, feel? It's an amazing feeling. I'm thinking, even though you've won so many awards. Moms uh, or women, they, they do so much, but they never get recognized. Mm. You know, and you don't realize how much you do until you get recognized. Mm. I think once you get more, you get people to know what you do and the impact you make on their lives. Mm. It makes you want to do more and yeah. want to help people more.
Well, I've listened to Karen and Sandra. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for coming.